Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts 5 4 Kaiser Redux as the Austrians. Let us continue on for the last set off. So we have unified the entirety of our empire, which is lovely. The fate of Croatia. No, of course military occupation is the only answer. We gotta we gotta keep them under control. They, they, they're supposed to belong to me, goddammit. Do I ever get cores on them now? No, do you give us cores over the entirety of Germany? I still feel like this is supposed to give us cores on the entirety of the country, but not too too sure. I mean, either way, I, I like resistance is not a problem. It's rising a little bit here, but again, I don't think it's going to rise. Yeah, resistance targets at ten percent, which isn't so bad. But all this territory now belongs to us. Bosnia, Montenegro, Dalmatia. We are losing, you know, stability and war support from these options, but... I mean, it's not so bad. Because we're, we're going to get our way down to... We're here, we're there, which is going to give us 100% stability no matter what. Which I think is pretty good. It's going to take us a while to get there, so I think we might... Very, very soon... Prepare... I mean, let me just see against Greece. Because if we can push our way through Greece, kill them off, we can bring Blue Army back home. We might even be able to get, like, I mean, yeah, because I guess Bulgaria can't join up with the Germans anymore. For obvious reasons, the German faction doesn't exist. I mean, the Ottomans are, or Egypt's probably going to collapse fairly soon. We do have close air support, so we do want to start building those guys ASAP. So production, let's follow that up with some close air support. Crank out production on those guys. Seems pretty good. Do we have any bigger airports? Yeah, you all fly over southern Germany then. So we're going to do the same thing we've done over and over again, which is, hey, this takes 10 days. You can save 10 days worth of political power. So we're going to attack them in a surprise attack just across the entirety of the border. Um, please give me more military factories in all of our core territory. Thank you very much. Okay, we do have territory in Bohemia court as well. So it wouldn't be a bad thing. Yeah, because you're all still occupied. Mexico City's fallen? Oh yeah, Mexico... I guess Mexico declared war on everybody. Specific states are just absolutely going hay on them. Well, CSA is probably going to fall. The American Civil War, I don't think, is going to end anytime soon. And are you all on very aggressive? Like, you should be. Because as soon as you're done this battle... Yeah, you probably just go straight into... Like, how many troops do you think Belgium has? Two to five divisions, which really is not a lot. I'm trying to think. France... You have... Roughly, probably about 170, not 170, you probably have about maybe 120 divisions-ish. I, right now, have 87, so we are outnumbered by you right now. Okay, we'll push away into Thessalonica. We don't need to defend all this territory. We just need to push our way towards Athens. Yeah, so now you guys don't need to be here. You just come onto this front, please and thank you. I mean, let me just see. You guys come down here, please. We only really care about Athens taking over the major cities. Everything else doesn't matter as much. You guys will kind of march. How about march something like this? That seems okay. As long as we can, again, as long as we can make our way towards Athens, we're going to be looking quite, quite nice. So you guys are going to go here and then make your way to Arta. Another one of our generals has fallen ill. That's unfortunate. And yeah, we're going to save ten. Uh, no, we'll go one more. Let's go for give the poor a chance. So we'll get one more focus here. Follow that up then with the invasion of the Internationale. Because they, they don't have that many troops. And the Italians down here never joined the war. I don't know why they have never joined the war. They just never have joined the war. So once you go to Athens, go to Partas. 
And that really should, I think, just be the end of the Greeks at this point, because they don't really have too much else they can do to resist us. I mean, do they have Crete? No, Crete is its own independent country. Just kind of hanging out, doing its own thing. So as long as we can defend this border, take Athens. Because I don't think they have any troops in Athens. I mean, how much is ours? Ours is only worth one victory point, so it's not that important. Because Athens is worth 25, Partis is worth 5. And now you guys have collapsed. Okay, so, how are we going to do this? I say I'm going to take this territory. This is going to be mine. The rest, I will be so kind. You definitely have Romania. Like, the, the thing that's questioning me is Greece. I think that makes sense for them. I'm going to take the south, because, I mean, Bulgaria did do a lot. Never mind. Apparently, I just gave them the whole territory. And either way, that's kind of okay. So now that you guys are done there, you're going to move your way to this province. Your only job is to spearhead your way towards Paris. And that's it. It's a pretty simple job. I also want you guys to be very aggressive in that battle plan. So, Bulgaria, what is your plan here? With all the territory you have just annexed yourself. Probably release them in the puppet stage. You can see they've already released uh, Romania up towards the north. They've also just released Greece. And I will release... I mean, I clicked the button. Nothing happened. So, that's what I know. We're, you're Thessalonica, right? No, you're Thessalonica. I don't know. Anyway, we now own Serbia. Fantastic. I mean, it's good for us, I think. And, of course, um, not you. But these areas on the outside, in the Sudetenland... I believe our cores of ours. So we want to keep that under our control for as long as possible. I'm surprised that the French... You actually come over here and start bombing uh, stuff. I'm surprised that the French don't have more territories on this border. Because I would definitely have at least a handful of men ready to go. Yeah, so you've won your war. Congratulations. Specific states aren't really fighting anybody at this point. But I guess they've signed a non-aggression pact with the... American Union State. Like, who's, who's going to win this fight? I don't know. The big old question. But, I mean, we should make relatively good progress against the uh, the French and the International as a whole. Do two more military factories. Ah, more, more, more guns seem like an okay choice. We have 149,000 rifles. Yeah, just another 62 divisions. That seems okay. Like, cause there's not another front line, right? Not really. I mean, we could do a naval invasion. Of course, the game just crashed, so we'll join me in just a moment. Sorry about the uh, the, the crash right there. So, I think we have two options right now. Either A, we wait for this focus that we're doing right now to finish up, which is going to take us another but about 40 days. And then on top of that, we wait for the 10 days to attack them. So we got 50 days there. Or, alternatively, we cancel this focus, have our 10 days automatically ready to go, and just invade right now. And I'm... I, I don't know which one's going to be the better option for us. I mean, the, the factory output here is nice. But we can start it up, like, right away. So, also, let's see if we can get these guys to dock. We got them to dock without crashing the game. Fantastic. Um, what do we need to build? You know what? More light tanks seem okay. Dockyards, we'll throw that into convoys. Seems fine. So yeah, you know what? Cancel this focus. Tomorrow, we will immediately declare war on the International. Should have done that actually at midnight. It would have given us a slightly more time. And then we'll give the poor a chance. That seems completely okay. Declare war on your puppet. Declare war on this puppet. Neither of these guys really have that many troops, so it really shouldn't be a big, big deal. Like, I, we, there's no reason that we have to worry about us not being able to win this war. Of course, if we'll get um, non-aggression packs to all of our uh, now allies. I really have some problems in Frankfurt, so let's actually help you out there. So now, plus 77. How many French troops are there? Austria declared war. Yeah, no, of course we declared war, but this time it will be different, because we'll be able to pull our way into this territory without too much of a problem. We should at least be able to push our way towards the French border. 
without too much, like, tensions, I would say. Depends on how long it takes for the French, of course, to actually respond to our uh, invasion here. Okay, second Melbourne Uprising. That is... I mean, you're still in the Entente, which is fine. I'm trying to think, like, nobody will give us military access, unfortunately. And I don't know how much the AI is really going to be able to actually land naval invasions of the country. Yes, we can already see that there are some British troops and French troops already arriving towards the border. Not great. Are you British troops or are you French troops? I think you're British troops. No, no, you're French. The flesh is a little bit confusing there. But we should be just fine regardless. You guys can move your way to here. I mean, okay, they, they have responded faster than I would like. I, I think I'll admit that. that they, they've done some more work. We should be able to take Frankfurt soon. After that, push away to, you know, Dortmund, Essen, Dulfador, and Cologne. Win the war there. Again, we've already pushed the French back to Alsace Lorraine. Yeah, once you're done here, you guys are going to speed ahead your way straight down towards the south. Which is a completely, completely acceptable. They might actually capitulate after uh, losing Hanover and uh, Hamburg. Maybe we'll need to take Bremen. We'll see. Because Hanover's close to being killed. Rhineland is going to take slightly longer. But it's still not that bad. We will extend your front line out a little bit like this. Again, France has. I mean, not that much manpower. Not that many divisions either. We can maybe try to do some naval invasions. I think it might be a little bit risky. But we could probably get it done. Like, can I, I can't declare war on you. Take 125 days, but I think it's too long. I can definitely get military access through the French, though. Send our boats through here. Maybe we'll prepare our own invasion of Marseille. Gone. Hanover down to 22%. They are close. If we can take over Bremen, that should be at least one of these countries out of the war. Let me push you guys back to the river. Do you have fortresses here? You do. Which is not great. You also have a ton of, uh, a ton of aircraft here, which I don't like. Do we have any more fighters? A handful. So we'll send you directly into combat. So we don't, we don't want to not have enough planes, obviously. Could deploy another 25 divisions. We can deploy you guys here. I mean, you're close to being deployed. So you know what? Deploy these guys first. Send them straight into Blue Army. One of them, I guess, can join the, the pinks. That's fine. You guys here. We will deploy as far south as possible. Deploy them right away. Uh, we'll send three to you. Then another three to green. And probably like another five, I guess, to being in a different army. Yeah, so send you here. One on you. And we'll send you to Algiers for now. You guys, you will be our naval invasion. From Algiers to, let's just say Marseille. Seems like an okay choice. And you guys will naval support all actions in the Mediterranean. And if we can open up a second front line against the International, we're going to be looking uh, quite, quite nice. Again, we just didn't think over Bremen. It'll have you guys capitulate. But, of course, we can't take too many casualties. We've lost 15,000 men so far, which really isn't so, so bad. Of course, reinforcements, of course, are on top priority. I'm trying to think. Actually, Blue Army right now, I think we want you to hold position, at least until we can take more of here. So we don't want to cross the river into mountains, into fortifications. It's just going to end up poorly for us. We got 70. Persia, it's fine having an aggression pack with you. Are we missing any? Okay, we're missing some rubber. We'll get that from the Dutch. Seems perfectly acceptable. Bulgaria. Do you have any interest in joining my faction? Because I would really, really, really appreciate it if you were to join. Where are you guys going, by the way? 
peace conference is over. Who is just out of the war? Oh, the Egyptians. Okay, that's fine. Yes, the Ottomans got some territory. Russia got Sudan for some reason. I don't really know why, but I'm not going to really question it. And of course, we have our glitch once again. We just won't worry about that. Oh, you guys are just, um... Yeah, if you want to protect these guys, that's fine. 29 divisions landing straight down this, uh, into Marseille would be nice. Unfortunately, of course, we can't transfer any of that land over to our... Or over to the Entente, because we're not in their faction. Not that I think I'd want to be in the Entente regardless. And I think we'll set you guys just being back to regular battle plan for now. Bremen, we do need you to collapse. It's very important that we can get that done. We'll go for... I mean, a year... A year is a while. But I still think it makes some sense for us to get it. Uh, yeah, what if we attack in through you? Your defense is pretty good. Experience modified 189%. Air priority is a negative 9% penalty, which is not great. Let's have you build some information into France. Okay, Bremen. We'll send these two... Attack towards the south, please and thank you. Like, how many troops do the Entente have? They have... Actually, not that many. Not that many men. Because we right now have lost. I think the AI is just releasing countries, which is why this is taking a little bit longer than I would like. But, we don't, well, you know, losing only 36,000 men honestly isn't that bad. The French have already lost... 63,000 against us, and, you know, this, this war's really just begun. Yeah, but you're going to be a little bit harder for us to take over, just because you have so many more uh, victory points. Uh, 88. We can, we, we can probably push our way through this. Into France itself. Japan's defeating the Indo-Chinese Union. That's completely acceptable. I want you to scout up here. How is Marseille looking? Marseille does have some troops. Does Toulon have troops? Yes. Nice is part of Italy. But how many troops do you think are actually in Toulouse? I don't know. But I think five might be able to get to uh, dislodge them. There's more motorized. We might even want to send our... Aircraft down to southern France just to assist those guys in Marseille when they actually get there. Honestly, I think pink. Right now, you can continue on with the attacks that you're doing, but I think we kind of want you to slow your roll a little bit. Okay, Hanover's capitulated. Lovely news for us. We could even start sending troops around into Williamshaven. I don't know if that would really work the way I would want it to. What if you guys march into here? Something like that. 90, 59, 58. Those are all good numbers for us. Thing is, like, we're still not even in 1940. Guess we we'll go for the better light tank? I know it's, like, way ahead of time. But it seems like an okay choice for us. I would like to really break through you. What about Green Army? I'm going to throw you on a force attack here. Once you break through at least one of these areas, which shouldn't take too, too long. We could even immediately even try to navally invade the British, honestly. So let's just say, theoretically, Green Army wipes up this. And then we use Green Army to try to invade England. Yeah, no, that could, that could definitely work. I'm, like, fairly confident in that, in that ability. Do you have any more troops we can deploy? Honestly... I'm okay. I know the troops are bad. And I know they're going to be very green. But I'm completely okay with that, honestly. Sure, we can have an aggression pack with you. That seems fine. Yeah, so send you guys to here. You march your way to there. Make sure 99 will break through you. You march your way down here. You just make their front line, line a little bit bigger. And yeah, you're doing a good job. Honestly, you're doing a fine job. 
You will also naval invade the moment you can. What are we missing? We are missing probably carrier fighters. Do not care even remotely about that, so... I think that's completely fine. Um, Egypt, we can have an aggression pack with you as well. Why are you still in Bremen? Probably because you don't have enough supplies to really effectively fight down here, is my best guess. And we will then build... Can I even click any of these things? No, we cannot click on any of them. Also, the Belgians have broken through our territory ever so slightly. Which is not great. After this, we need to be pushing our way into, into Dortmund, into Essen, all these other major cities. And you will launch two more days from now. Keep you back behind here for now. We're, we're starting to cross the river. Which is nice. I wonder if we can get a surround on you. I think that's entirely possible. Um, you know what? Let's even go for more rifles. Seems okay for now. We might actually want to stop this entire offensive. You know, so do something like this. Green army or um, teal army is now on their way here. Marseille? A 97. They're fighting a small British fleet. But they shouldn't be too much of a problem. We'll actually, like, force or attack our way. Hopefully we can make a beachhead. Beachhead would be really nice for us. Yeah, you're doing fine. You're at 98. You just have no organization. You just don't have organization. So we land here in Marseille. In just a moment. Fantastic. Then we're going to immediately send Purple Army up to here. And just more front lines, the better for us. You're the Italians, actually. You don't not, you, If I knew that the Italians were here, that's where I would have landed, obviously. Because the Italians, we're just not at war with them. And I don't know if we're ever actually going to be at war with them. Um, more attack and defense. More crew population and more organization. You know what? We'll go with that for now. But I think it's also going to be a good time for us to end this episode. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Anthony If you enjoyed, more thumbs up. Not to enjoy some down. If you want to see more, subscribe. And goodbye.